it's incredibly easy to use structure. To begin, it's very possible that you place all of your new projects within a base folder. And here you can specify that. If you go to Structure, Preferences, here you can paste in a path to where all new projects should begin. In this case, let's say you're a PHP developer. In that case, every new folder should be placed within the htdocs folder. So you would specify it there. And then with this set, upon every subsequent relaunch, it'll remember that. Alternatively, if you would like every new project to be within your desktop, you can either do it one off here, or you can go back to preferences and specify desktop. When you close it, this will be updated. Now at this point, you can declare your site name. So here we'll say my site. And within my site, we'll begin by creating an index.html file. And maybe next we need a CSS folder. So you can specify a CSS folder or any file name by appending a forward slash. So if I do CSS, that will create a file CSS. But if I do CSS forward slash, that creates the folder. So at this point, I can either continue on and write style.css, or I can leave it at that, and then at this point, do it like this. Now note that to declare the previous path, you use a forward slash at the beginning. So CSS slash, and then here we're saying, go back to that CSS folder and now create a new file. But as I said, you could still do it like this if you wish. Now we could even continue on and say text.css, reset.css. And now let's create a JavaScript folder. So I can do it like this. And we'll say scripts.js. And we'll also create an images folder. And that's as much as there is to it. And now to create it, I can either hit create button down here or there's a shortcut command enter. And now if you look right here, we've created our structure. And let's see what that provides us. You'll see we have our index.html. We created a CSS folder, and there's our three files that we created. And then we created a JS folder, and that contains our file right there. Now note here, we do not need to write it like this because there's only one file. It would be just as efficient to do JS slash scripts.js. But believe it or not, that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you would like any additional features, just be sure to let us know because the developer is actively developing it. Thanks, guys.